Hi everyone. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Melvi Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely Easy, Medium and Hard and the Premium Questions playlist and all the questions combined into one single playlist called All SQL. Let's dive into our today's question. The question which you are trying to solve is Type Medium. Question number 177, Nth Highest Salary. Let's see the question. Okay, it is also asked in Amazon, Adobe and also Uber. They are asking Nth Highest Salary. Okay, they have given a column called Employee which is having ID and Salary. Okay, ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table contains information about salary of an employee. Okay. Find the nth highest salary from the employee table. Okay. If there is no nth highest salary, return null. Okay. The resultant format should be in the following example. Okay. See. Let's see the question first. Uh, input if you see here 300 is the first highest 200 is the second highest 100 is the third highest so 2 we want here so we will be keeping 200 as the highest let's see we want the fourth highest if you see there is only 1 2 3 so we can't get the fourth highest then in that case, null should be reported. Okay, it can be solved by. Let's say there are duplicate elements also. Let's say something four, two hundred. Okay, then we need to remove these duplicates also, right? Then what we will be doing is, let's say, we will group by salary. And uh, we will take only the distinct elements of salary. Let's say if you group by salary, if you take distinct elements, it will be like this hundred. 200 300 and let's say sort by ascending order so descending order then it will be 300 200 100 okay we got the table okay now whatever we want let's say we want second highest okay then we'll be taking the top two things and we will take the minimum value okay let's say if you want the top third thing we will be taking limiting the top three things and we will be taking the last value okay Let's say we want the fourth. Okay. If you take from this table, there will be only three elements, but we can't take the four. The simple shortcut will be check whether the fourth element is equal to this count of elements. If it is same, take the last one. If not, let's take it as null. Okay. Let's code it. They have asked for n here. If you see function, let's solve it for some specific number like 2 after that we can change it to n okay what we want from employee table let's group by salary and order by salary in descending order you need to take what select salary let's say we want that a highest two one we'll be keeping here top two okay so we got the table where we have the top two things now we want what uh, wait a minute yeah what we did is right we will get the top two now what we want the nth highest elements means it is consisting of here let's say n is equal to 2 then what we got is top two elements then the nth second thing will be the minimum things from the table which is available here let's take the second one okay what we'll do is select 
case one okay if the number of elements is equal to two then only give that one if it is not matching it is saying means uh, let's say if you want fourth element but the table is having only two things then we can't get that right so select when count of all is equal to two then uh wait a minute then it should be which one okay the minimum of the salary thing if else it is not matching they said to written it as null okay we have done here it should be from the subquery table from okay this alias give some alias of this one give some alias table as table one okay let's call it as table one dot salary okay as you seen here they are not asking about two we have taken a number called two but they want for a, some specific n okay let's replace it at the rate of n let's run it keyword from okay we need to end this statement end as Uh, what is the mistake they've done? <laughs> Else is done and is completed. Okay, no need of that uh, because we have already got this one. Okay. Just end it, it's enough. Because we have already have this function name. Okay, they have given capital N. Incorrect syntax near. Uh, select case when count of all equal at the end and minimum of table salary one else nil. Okay, it is a top number bracket. Employee. Okay, it's employee table. Yeah, it got accepted. Okay, finally, our solution has been accepted by the lead code platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel. It will motivate you a lot and share it to your friends or colleagues who are preparing for the data scientist or data analyst. Keep going, keep hustling. And if you want to connect with me, there is a chat description link for my LinkedIn profile. Thank you very much for watching my video.